Here's a quick beginner's guide to simplifying radical expressions. If you are just learning the topic or you need a quick little refresher, here we go. When we want to square root or simplify the square root of eight, what we wanna do is find the largest square number that evenly divides into eight. In this example, you can see that is going to be four. So I'm going to rewrite eight as four times two. Now I can take the square root of four, but I cannot take the square root of two. So I can rewrite this expression as two square root of two. When we're dealing with variable expressions, what we want to be able to do is see how can I rewrite this to something squared? Because that's what the square, that's the index of the square root here. So what I want to do is if I can rewrite this as a x squared times x, I know that I can take the square root of x squared, which is just going to be x, or you could write that as the absolute value of x, and then for x times the square root of x, because that's to the first power, so I cannot take the square root of it. So what do we do when we have a number and a variable expression. Well, in this case, we're just gonna treat everything separately. Again, what is the largest square number that we can rewrite with 32? Well, that would be 16 times two. And what about x to the six? Do I wanna write this as x squared times x squared times x squared? No, what we wanna do is use the power rule. I always wanna rewrite something to the second power. So if I rewrite x to the six as x cubed, squared, I know that the power rule, I'm gonna multiply these to give me six. So therefore, I can rewrite that as x cubed, squared, which now I can take the square root of. The square root of 16 is going to be four. The square root of x cubed squared is x cubed, and I'm still gonna have the square root of two under the radical. 